Bible of one of these other uh, um, religions. I'm talking non-denominational. There is no religion in heaven. There are no Pentecostals in heaven. There are no Charismatics. There are no Baptists. There are no Mormons. There are no Catholics. There are no Jehovah Witnesses. We are all the body of Christ in heaven. So why, why have it down here? Let's just follow on here and be prepared for in heaven. So non-denominational, New King James, King James, Amplified, that attaches himself to no religion. Amen? Grab that Bible. This is how you get high on the Holy Spirit. Grab that Bible, and you read it every morning, even if it's for five minutes, and every night, every morning, and every night, every morning, and every night. And then you think about it, you close your eyes, and you meditate. Instead of doing yoga meditation and thinking of self, think of Him. 
think of him meaning God Almighty, him meaning Jesus Christ, him meaning the Holy Spirit who has all the power. And once you have that power, that high steps in. Woo! He is the most high. He is the most high. I can talk because I've been on both sides of the fence. And I understand that this is so much better. Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit are so much better than the devil's counterfeit. Get high methods. Be happy methods. Get rich quick methods. No, that's all his way. Do it God's way. It's so much better. So much better doing it God's way. The Word of God is your instruction book. B-I-B-L-E. Basic instructions before leaving earth. Inside each one of us is a spirit or a ghost that looks exactly like us. So if I were to set my body aside, this ghost would come out and would look just like Dr. Gabrielle Hope. That spirit man needs to be fed every day too. We feed our physical, they need to be fed. Well, they can't eat natural food, so they have to eat supernatural food. What's the supernatural food? The Word of God, the Holy Bible, and the Holy Spirit who wrote the Word of God will pour all kinds of food and wisdom into your spirit man. And you'll be able to stand against the devil's schemes, be protected by his, his plans. Ooh, because you have that supernatural protection around you instead of just the natural protection. Super is better than the natural. That's why it's super. Now, we are speaking of Romans 4, excuse me, Romans 8, 15. The bondage spirit. Underneath the bondage spirit, that big strong man, is hundreds of thousands of of these little demons so if you went to cast a demon out of someone that smoked for instance let's say they smoked cigarettes or did drugs and you didn't cast out the boss the root is still there and it can come back easier so you always want to go after the strong man like Jesus said so you you come after you strong man you spirit of bondage I command you out of my life out of my family's life out of my children's life. Get out in Jesus' name. And you command just like Jesus did. Replace it immediately. It's like the hole in the, in the spirit. Now you have to fill it in. And you fill it with the Holy Spirit. So you say, I replace you with the power, the presence, and the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God. Now you said it. Now you have to do it. And the do is open up that word of God listen to worship music. Don't listen to junk music. Don't listen to music that doesn't glorify God. And I mean on all scales. Do not listen to music that does not glorify God. Do not listen to music that does not glorify God. Does it make God happy? Does it make God happy? No. Ask Him. He says it right in the book of Psalms. You sing Psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. He never said sing other music. Do everything to glorify God because it can be a counterfeit to make it look like it's innocent and okay and truthfully is leading you one step at a time away, away, away from what actually the Holy Spirit has in store for you and you could be blocking your own blessings all because of the type of music you listen to and those negative lyrics that are going in your head those negative lyrics that are coming out of your mouth and whatever you speak you get it may not happen for a year or two but whatever you speak you get whether you sing it or you speak it so don't be addicted to the wrong kind of music don't be addicted to the wrong kind of movies don't be addicted to the wrong kind of internet addictions pornography that's also fall, falls under the spirit of perversion and whoredom. Um, anything with gossip falls, falls under the spirit of pride. There's other spirits out there, and they intertwine and connect to make themselves stronger. So in case you come against them, you have to kick out several of their bosses because all of them own that little guy. This is why demons come back. 
think is a Hosea 4.6. The, uh, the Bible says, my people. He didn't say other people. He said, my people. In other words, Christians. People that call by my name. He says, those that are called by my name. Christians. He says, they're destroyed for the lack of knowledge. So I'm teaching you today. Get the demon out of your life. Don't deal with it. Don't take a pill and deal with it. Don't sleep in depression. No, don't deal with it. Deliver it and let your life open up again. Deliver it. Get it out. And you can do it yourself. Watch the self-deliverance video that I have uh, put up in the program, the television program, and also the video that we put up for you to enjoy. Self-deliverance is very possible, but you have to be consistent and persistent and not do it from the head, but do it from the heart. Mean it and stick with it. Be persistent. Persistence to Timothy. Be persistent. Okay, so the spirit of bondage is anything, any form of addiction. Some men are addicted to, they have to collect all kinds of cars, you know, which is fine. But ask the Lord first. Ask the Lord first. What if he has something else that he wants you to do with your time and your money? What if he has a mission field he wants you to go on to? What if he has a group of people that need desperately need help? And what if he has a church in another country that needs Bibles? What if he has a hospital that needs help for to, to, to uh, mend the sick, to heal the sick? What if he needs your money somewhere else than your pleasures? That's what I had to learn. And it was such a release become a philanthropist. It was such a release to let go and let God. It was such a release to realize this is not for me. This is for others. So this one can be helped and that one can be helped. Why? All to get as many people into heaven as possible. The ultimate goal is to show love. Not Satan's way, not the counterfeit way. I'm doing whatever you want, whenever you want, with whomever you want. That's not that's not commandments. That's not that's not the New Testament or the Old Testament. There's good and evil, and we must choose good if we want to make it to heaven. And there is a heaven. If you doubt there is a heaven and a hell, I pray to God that He send you a vision and a dream that you know. Make yourself real to me, God. Show me there's a heaven and a hell because you've been taught other things. There is a heaven and there isn't hell. And you do not want to taste hell. But if God has to send you hell in a vision in a dream, oh, we've heard that foolish thing that says, oh, this is hell on earth. This is, oh, we're living in hell right now. Oh, please, honey, you have no idea what you're talking about. This is only a fraction of the torture that what the devil puts people through. Whether you're on his side or not, he'll end up destroying you anyway because that's his nature. He only increases to decrease. And what I mean by decrease, not our spirit man, but to decrease everything that he has given us. He's a deceiver just to get us to cry, just to get us to be sad, just to get us ultimately on his side so he can kill us and, end, and our soul end up in hell. That's his game. God is the opposite. He wants to win us to him. And it may not be easy. You may have to go through suffering, but the eternity is blissful. This little tiny time on earth compared to eternity. There's no comparison. We have to pass the test that God gives us on this earth. The, pet, the tests are this. If I have a problem, I'm going to set pride aside and fix that problem. Get deliver it out of my life. Get rid of it out of my life through the word of God. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The word of God. Just as I eat, I will feed my spirit man. The word of God. Once you feed that spirit man, the Holy Spirit grows and grows and grows inside you. And those demons that are on your back or in your life or in your finances or in your kids, they can't stand the righteousness. They can't stand the word of God being read and heard and done. And eventually they leave. Now the firmer you are with all the authority, the quicker they leave. This is why fasting and prayer is so important. It's an accelerator. We have coffee and all these energetic pills and 
energy bars. Why not accelerate your spirit, man? Accelerate your future with the word of God and fast and pray. Do what it says to do. He didn't He didn't say if you fast. He said when. It's not only good for your health, but it's good for your soul. You get close to God. It's amazing. There's so much that we're missing out on when we limit ourselves to this natural world. Let me help you deliver those spirit of bondages out of our life. We were just in another deliverance service. Almost every service we get into, at least a portion of it, is dedicated to deliverance. And uh, we had the young people come forward and throw all their paraphernalia on the altar. And they were crying out to God, Deliver me. Get this problem out of my life. I don't want it anymore. It was all the spirit of bondage. Connected with the spirit of lies and perversion. We got rid of them all and we see people's lives changed permanently for good permanently permanently for good I want your life changed I want your life changed in Jesus name we command every foul spirit of bondage and addiction of any kind to be out of your life out and replaced with the power, the presence, and the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God. Jesus Christ's blood, the fire, the fire, the fire of the Holy Spirit be on you. The whole armor of God be on you. In Jesus' name, be set free. Be set free. Be set free. In Jesus' name. Now read your Bible every day. Pray to Jesus. Pray to God. Embrace the Holy Spirit every day. And there is no way the devil can wipe you out and have his way. It's impossible. You have that protection, the fire of the Holy Spirit on you, because you spend time with God. Seriously.